we're coming up on season six of the Coffee with Rhonda show. And as you know, we do two seasons a year and it has just been a bundle of joy and amazing ride with my two amazing co-hosts. We sat down and talked a little bit about the show, what it's meant to us and what we hope that it does for all of you watching. So I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes discussion and share some feedback. Let us know what you think. And so Roz, what has surprised you the most about being a part of the Coffee with Rhonda show? The, the Coffee with Rhonda show for me has been, uh, the best thing for me has been is that the people have accepted the fact that I'm working and I'm not behind the desk. And I think people can connect to that because, you know, it used to be when you did interviews, everybody had to be sitting behind the desk. Everybody had to be in the same room. And now people, I think people accept us is because we have break, uh, not break, we have broken the standard. Mm-hmm. we have broken the standard and so because we have broken the standard but we're, we're consistent let me say that again we've broken the standard but we've been consistent in the information that we've given so that consistency has overflowed into my personal work and has forced me to be even more consistent so that's mm-hmm. that's 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 how it's helped me wonderful thank you Roz so Marae, what about you? What has surprised you the most about being a part of the Coffee with Rhonda show? Oh, it's it's been an amazing journey because I, when I came in, just like uh, you all know, it was just for oneself. And we just realized how, you know, uh, powerful we could be, you know, and, and share our knowledge and experience and, and help people to grow because sometimes we don't realize it until we do it. And that's been, you know, a personal growth for me. And we've we've really um, break barriers because we've we we are different people. Dif- we come from different background, different, you know, experiences. But uh, coming together has actually helped us to um, to grow together, but also to learn so much from each other and 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 really get to our greatness because you know when i talk about greatness it's really about expanding ourselves you know learning from other people and also helping other people the audience to grow and i also like the funny you know we, we do it in a funny way we have we have a, a role each of us has a role i think i'm the serious one uh, and uh, obviously rose is the funny one and and you are in the middle so we really uh you know complement each other and that's what I, I love and the fact that we we are really global now is just it's just amazing so what has surprised me the most about being a part of the coffee with Rhonda show has been the fact that people um, have people love it. And we started it just as something to do, a conversation to have. And I think I didn't know how much people really loved it until we didn't have the show when we were in season and we didn't have a show. I can't remember what was going on. Uh, Marae, I think you couldn't attend and I was getting on the plane and something. So we decided we weren't going to have the show. So we just put on a replay. I was actually boarding my flight And I got a um, a messenger message from one of the people who watch our show regularly and said, what's with this recording? And and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, people are paying attention. They're actually paying attention. And so for me, it has been just wonderful to see how people have um, gravitated to the show and appreciated um, the work and effort and energy that we bring to every episode. What has impacted me personally is my friendship with the two of you, how it has grown. Um, Also, too, you allowed me to come in to support your vision. Because when we started, oh, I just want some ladies to get together for four shows. You know, and you know, Rhonda puts her hand up to her chair. I just want you here for four shows, darling. You know, that'll be it. Well, those four shows is now gone into four years. And, you know, it's, it's amazing how we have strengthened and you stretched me. You stretched me. You've taken me, uh, a, there's no success in the comfort zone. And I've been more successful because of my connection to the two of you and to the guests. But then it, it, it has allowed me and forced me 
into some areas probably that I would have never gone into because of the guests and because of my relationships with you all. It's, it's, it's been great. And so, I, you know, I want people to understand when Rhonda put this together, I, I just loved Rhonda anyway. You know, you know, whatever she did, I was going to support her. But now, as I understand, she brought us together. It was a reason. You know, things don't happen by, you know, they, oh, you know, things happen. And, mm -mm, mm -mm. God knew what he was doing when he put us together. And Rhonda had to lead it. And so, I, you know, I love uh, being a part. I love serving with her. I don't have a problem serving. Understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I understand we are all women, but I don't have a problem with serving. If she says no, it's no. If she says yes, it's yes. And if I need to push, I have a problem with pushing. But, you know, so far as I'm concerned, wherever Rhonda is, I'm there. I'm there. And her, the connection to her, even though we're not connected by DNA, the spiritual connection is invaluable. Thank you, Roz. That was beautiful. That was really, really wonderful. Um, really powerful you know as I I think about the impact to myself personally I know you're not crying <laughs> she's just gonna, gonna cry, cry. she's just gonna, gonna cry <laughs> but it was so powerful I mean how, how do you want us to that it was very <laughs> powerful <laughs> it was but I was just gonna say that you know, as we as we think about this, the three of us together, we're in totally different locations. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't even talk all the time, but I feel like you both are my sisters. I feel mm -hmm. like you both now, we are on a powerful journey together, separately, but together. And I think that that is really, really special. For me personally, I have learned so much from each of you. Marae, I love your strength and your focus. Mm -hmm and your positivity mm -hmm. always comes through. We might be in challenging situation and you have a way of gently pivoting too, but this is going on and this is going well and we can do this and we can, we're capable and able. I love that, that strength comes through. So I think for you and your show, um, when you talk about the greatness engineer, all of that is meaningful for me. I think about those words. I think about that, which is why I wanted you to do something like the greatness moment, because right. I think that's powerful. When mm -hmm. we remind people of who they are, we give mm -hmm. them access to tap into that. And that's really special for me. And Roz, for you, I have taken from you to just go with it and to be okay with it. And sometimes I have a way of wanting to be this perfectionist thing and honestly, with the three of us and what we have been through on this show, it's all good. If it works, it works. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We explain it. We, we tape it together with glue, whatever we need to do, mm -hmm. and we move on. So your ability to be flexible and to be mobile and to just be Roz Jones, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is freeing for all of us to show up as who we are and the exact skin that we have and know that that's okay. So I grow, I feel like I have grown over the past three years, learning from the both of you. And we've had some amazing guests on the show and learning from them as well. So for me, um, this show has really had an impact on me personally. Glad, I'm, gl I'm glad that we, I think all three of us are in a season of mm -hmm. growth. Right. Yeah a okay. season of growth and, and expansion and this show is just a foundation and a catapult for us to do to do some things just like now you know I've been going back and listening to us now now I want to start a podcast you understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. you know I'm you know I'm writing a book some things that I thought God knows I just thought I'm gonna be doing caregiving forever mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. but you know but 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 because here I see opportunity Mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying where other doors have I understand now that closed doors are opportunities mm -hmm. I wouldn't have learned that if I had not been on this with us mm -hmm. because a lot of times you know we talked in the show we talked about rejection rejection therapy 
we've talked about. And those things, even though we're talking to the audience, we're also sometimes healing ourselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, it's been an amazing. It's, it's just an academy in itself, I think, this show. Mm -hmm. So we've learned so much, you know, on leadership, leading ourselves, leading others. And, and looking at life, you know, on a positive side, just like you said, and understand that it's okay, even if we're not perfect, it's okay if we, if we fail, we just have to keep going, we just have to stay positive and keep educating ourselves, growing, you know, bringing the right people on, on this platform to learn from them and to also, you know, connect with other people who can actually relate to Ooh. us. And that's, uh, that's really important. Mm. I'm glad you said, I'm, I'm glad you said connect because we have mm -hmm. formed a non-traditional -tra collaboration. Mm -hmm. Most collaborations, people sign a contract, mutual agreement of, of understanding, all of this handshake, you know, we got to fly in, have a corporate meeting, you know, you, you know, the board of directors got to meet. This is, this is a non-traditional collaboration. Mm -hmm. and, and again, like I said, we have broken the mold, broken the standards. We set a standard, but we've broken standards. Standard, yeah. The trust has been amazing because I didn't know you, you know, it's, <laughs> but it's just came in and said, so, okay, I'm trusting those two ladies. And like you said, we're now like sisters and, and it's just amazing how just opening yourself and not asking asking yourself too many questions can actually bring you that far and and it's uh, it's amazing we didn't we didn't overthink it yeah yeah we didn't overthink just, it Rhonda said Rhonda just put out there I remember she put the post out there I never forget on Facebook oh I'm looking for a few ladies to come on the show <laughs> I didn't even know what to expect I just okay uh -uh. let's just do okay, it you let's know? Talk. And then, <laughs> Awesome. So what about, so as we go into this season six coming up and it has been so much fun, we do two seasons a year and I love the format that we have. Again, we've changed, we've created a standard and it's one that works for us. Most mm -hmm. people I talk to say, no, you need to do a podcast every week or several a week. No, we do one a week. We do mm -hmm. 12 weeks and then we take 12 weeks off. We are busy. Mm -hmm. We are women on the rise and we need that time to be able to focus on other things as well. So going into season six, what do you hope that our Coffee with Rhonda show family, those that listen to us and tune in every week, um, what do you hope that they'll get out of this season? You know, as usual, for me, it's about uh, making sure that they grow and, and mm. it's always about understanding that there's no limit for them. And I hope this show is actually helping them to understand that, that they don't have any limits. Uh, they, you know, they can manage their, their tools, their strategies, and things that we're sharing that can actually help them to, to break, you know, to break the limits that they put on, on themselves and, and really be confident that uh, they can make it. Whatever dream they have, they can actually accomplish it. And, and that's really, you know, get this confidence, get this determination, get this resilience when things are, are really difficult and understand that there's always, you know, we are always, even if they're lost, uh, they can come to COVID with Rhonda and then get the right information, the right tools, or the right strategy and laugh about it and, and then be okay and, and, and really be optimistic about their future and by what they're doing in their life. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm. I think that's exactly it. And what about you, Roz? What do you hope that they get out of this season? I, I want them to understand we're setting boundaries, but we're stepping outside of the boundaries. We're setting boundaries, but we're stepping. And, and the reason why I'm saying that is because what we give to the people is an investment. Mm -hmm. Not for us. I mean, part of it is for us, okay. but it's for them. Mm -hmm. what, what we do every week is sowing a seed. It's a biblical principle. We are following a, bi a biblical principle. We are evangelizing on, on, on social media. We are doing what God has commanded us to do, to get out in the highways and the byways and to help the people. Mm. Mm -hmm. We are we are investing in souls. 
and changing lives. And so I want people to come on here and understand that the time that they take is an investment for them, but then they also invest in us. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's investment. The biggest thing is that, you know, we used to have to put on makeup, get our hair done, put on a girdle, honey, and a spank, and pull and strap it in and get gas and get on the plane and figure out who going to keep the kids, who going to keep the dog. And all we got to do now is push a button. Mm-hmm. All we got to do and is push there. a button and it's there. And so for them to push the button lets us know that we're still doing something good and something right. But, but look at the thousands of people that we have impacted just off of, off of an idea and an investment of time. Yeah. Really, really special. You know, when I, when I think about it and this season coming up, um, I think I really want people just to continue to um, want to stretch, like you said earlier, to know mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. the magic happens outside of the comfort zone. So being willing Mm -hmm. to step outside, to explore, to consider ideas that are not your own, Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. shed some of the limiting beliefs that hold them back and to do so while having fun with a cup of coffee, with the three of us, um, being able to partner together. I feel like we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. We are bringing information and we are bringing the structure, but at the end of the day, we're all in this together and we learn from our guests as well. So their contribution and the comments that they send uh, during the show are powerful and important, which is why I take the time to read them. We've got some super smart, amazing people that follow this show. And Mm -hmm. I am very blessed and honored by that. And so I want them to continue showing up for us and for themselves because ultimately at the end of the day if you don't show up for yourself no one else will either so i think this should be an amazing season and i want people to come and join us can contribute participate and have fun while they're doing it you know what i want to say something about the comments our followers the comments i've never seen comments like these on any other yeah you know you know you scroll through you hit an emoji i like a thumb up you know put fire put hearts but but when these people respond to us i mean sometimes these comments are like um something that will come you know if you're doing a dissertation or a phd Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know so i was talking about the academy because you know exactly exactly so (laughs) so so you know we've gone from one level to another so we keep elevating every year so so not only are the comments elevating but it's elevating us that mm-hmm. means that okay we've accomplished here but now we gotta you know each each year we take it higher and higher so like i said the, the comments i don't see um any other uh places where i have been so far as a, a guest speaker or a guest in a summit or whatever give the comments like our followers give the subscribers yeah yeah it's almost like now that you all are describing it that way it's almost like a master class right yeah. where you are getting right this content and are is. they are participating and engaging and then they're asking questions about it and sharing their own personal experiences and honestly sometimes i feel like we're in a therapy office because some exactly. of the comments <laughs> Some of the comments I'm come thinking, from this. Yeah. where's the couch? Because so you should probably lay down a bit while we go through this, right? So it is just um, really something special. So I want to just, I, I, you ladies are both amazing. And I am so honored and so glad that you are here by my side. The trust that I have in you, the faith that we have in each other, we built this together. And so I'm just looking forward to another really great season um, of the Coffee with Rhonda show. And at some point, we we might we might want to do like stars, do a world tour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would definitely we work. Do, the we could do international tour. meetups. Yeah, 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 yeah we could do meetups. Yes. Yeah. Well, I will tell you, the first time we do a coffee with Rhonda show in person, that is going to be fun. It's, it's going, going to be, really be fun. fun.